When you walk by a lost child, do you see a possible good deed or a business opportunity? Today we're going to cover one of the best ways to capitalize off human suffering because nothing sparks personal growth like a labor camp. So why bother with this side hustle? RimWorld is a game filled with hostile humans that can and will attack your colony and most raids will leave survivors lying around the battlefield. Even if you butcher the bodies, colonists will only give 427 silver worth of materials in perfect condition. And if you do find a buyer for your questionable meat, you're realistically going to only get 200 silver or less. But what if I told you that selling those pawns instead could make you double the money? What? Let's take a look and understand how to become a human trafficker. The most important part of being a successful human trafficker is choosing the right target. Rimworld pawns have a base value that is modified by health, traits, and skills. We're looking for the Chads and Beckys of the world. Young, healthy, industrious, with two working legs. I did some testing and targets with numerous disabled skills have the worst pawn value. The game thinks that an ugly savant that can't cook, grow, or clean with construction and autism at level 20 is worse than a pawn with 5 in every skill. So just look for pawns that have all skills enabled and are generally healthy. Now you understand which shopping centers to hit up, let's cover trafficking economics. You're going to want to look around the map for an employer that buys creatures and check if humans are in that category. Most labor camps have around 2,000 silver and a baseline value of most pawns is around 1,000 but traders will pinch every penny from you. Traders will typically charge a 50% black market cut. So suddenly that 1,000 is now 500 and we need around 4 healthy pawns to get the most out of each trip. Don't even bother bringing low value pawns to sell since they can be worth as little as 100 silver. Just remember, even the most worthless of us are still worth some leather and meat. Special thanks to the Patreon YouTube member gang for keeping this channel going. 